Now I just got back from my first real ride on this thing. Uh, the first 10 miles I went on, you know, the front end had just a little, like, shaking, like 25 miles or less. So I come to find out that there was no air in that tire. Might have had like four pounds in it. So I filled it up to 36 pounds, and then the rear was at 42. And the shaking stop. So that was good. I was a little worried that I have a big expense right away. But it was just that. Everything works good. I like where that Garmin is. It's perfect. Doesn't bounce or jiggle around or nothing. So the only thing I got to fix is I got to drill a little hole right here. So that cord can fit through it without it being caught up and getting. Let's see if I can get my hands out. Look at that. So I gotta drill that hole. That's what I'm gonna do now. Because I don't wanna damage the cord. I mean, you can buy them for five or six bucks, but it's gonna have to be done anyhow. And it's low enough and tucked up underneath here that it's not gonna. It's not, and it's got a little lip on it too, so it shouldn't get any water in there. But uh, yeah, it ran excellent. I love this, I love this trunk. It just makes it life so much easier. I could even, I didn't take my cooler. But I test fitted it and no problem. I can put it right on there and on top of a lot of stuff and plenty of room. So this trunk makes life way easier. Big red was kind of, kind of driving me nuts on that. The helmet works excellent too. I really, I really love this helmet now. And when I ride with it, I normally ride it just like this. That gap in there. And when I first started out, I had it closed down, and it had the air vents, and had a lot of wind noise in there. But, you know, it's just a $100 helmet. But with that little gap in there, it was quiet. It wasn't, you'd think it'd be more windier in there, but it wasn't. So, but that's the new way I normally ride. And I had, like I said, I had the vents open. So it could have been the, the noise from the air coming into the helmet. But, you know, it's a $100 helmet. And, and that's that's right my uh, wheelhouse. <laughs> I really don't want to spend four or five hundred or six hundred dollars for a helmet. But you know, it ran fantastic. And then on this uh, setting, you see this setting right here. If we can adjust the, I think it's for the ride height. Seventy three out now. See, I got it set at thirteen. I had, when I started out the trip, I set it at 10. Thought, well, that should be a smoother ride. And, um, yeah, it wasn't. I adjusted it when I got to my spot where I wanted to get to. And as soon as I started riding it again, I noticed immediately what a lot better ride at 13 than 10 was. So, I, I really don't understand what that is. I think it's... From what I understand, it's supposed to just to make the back level. So I don't know if it affects the ride or not, but it rode a hell of a lot better. But you could tell when you haven't ridden in a while because, <laughs> ooh, my bones are getting all creaky. So, and the Duracell battery seems to be holding up. Starts right up in that Duracell. So I'm not going to hook it up to the trickle charger anymore. And, uh, oh, yeah, that cruise. Let me shut this off. Ugh, damn allergies. That cruise works excellent. A little scary at first, but it worked fantastic. I had set the cruise control and got it working, like, during the winter. I don't know how much, is that a month or two ago now? And then the other day I took it off to see if I can get it working, and it quit working, so I had to clean that switch out again and it started working I just left it in I think I'm just going to leave it on so I don't think it's going to hurt anything and um I don't know if I said this or not but I filled it up you see that where it's E is and then the two white little dashes above it when it was in between the last two white dashes I stopped and filled it up and I put in four gallons 
And then I figured out the mileage. It was 41 miles to the gallon. So I'm assuming it's only got a five-gallon tank. So I don't have to get on my laptop and check that manual and see uh, see what it's what size tank it is. And I got to see what that F1 is. If that's the fuel warning light or if that's something else. But I don't see any other indication on here. So if you're, you know, when your fuel gets low... But yeah, I think thing works perfect. I used uh, reverse multiple times today. Uh, I guess that's about it. I think I said it put on 206 miles. Runs excellent. So glad I got it. She's already getting bugs on her. So once I, next week it's both in the 70s. I'll I'll clean the bike and then give it a wax. So I think that's it. That's all I have left to do on this bike. And um, I was thinking about it. I just, I'm going to go look at the, that HJC helmet. But I might just buy another one of these helmets just for a backup. To me, that really worked out nice. Fits perfect. Everything works on it. The sun visor works perfect. So... Okay, I gotta get going. I want to fix that uh, cover here so it stops cutting my cord up. Enjoy your Easter weekend here. Bye.